Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vishal. In this video, let's have a look on uh, the edge actions in Z Modeler. Z Modeler can be accessed from the brush palette here, or I can press B, Z, and M, and then get the brush here. And when I hover the cursor on the edge, you have few of the edge actions. So I'll be talking about the delete, the do nothing, and transpose options here. So let's start with the delete. So we have uh, different types of targets like edge, edge, edge loop complete, and edge loop partial. So I select the edge here and then select one of the edge and delete. So the edge deleted uh, and also along with that the polygon face is also deleted. And the reason is ZBrush has zero tolerance for any n ones. So deleting one edge will leave that particular face into a five a six sided faces. So deleted the polygons and fixed that n one issue. However, I can choose the edge loop complete and select that edge and then you could see the edge is deleted without touching the faces there. So we have two types of targets. One is edge loop complete, where I could able to see this edge loop, what you're seeing, uh, a loop which uh, flows through side-by-side uh, -side polygon faces is an edge loop. And uh, when I'm when I mean, I'm just selecting edge loop uh, partial, uh, this is uh, stopping up here because there is a, a you know three line meeting point there and uh, that's where the loop is broken there. Okay, So edge loop partial is that and then when I choose edge loop complete, it uh, moves beyond that line. Okay, so we have these uh, three types of targets here, and then we got do nothing, and the target is edge. What that actually does is when I select edge, and you should able to see it's doing nothing, but it's actually applying a Q mesh over that. Why is that so? Because I have Q mesh in my hand for the polygon action. Okay, so no matter you select the uh, face or you select the edge. It's doing the same tool and edge edge component wise there's nothing happening there because I've selected do nothing for that then we we got the transpose tool transpose tool is like your regular move tool where you could able to move rotate and scale the object but if you want to select a partial amount of a part of the model uh, that is where I'm going to select the transpose and choose the target like edge in this case so when I select that edge Every, I mean, everything in the model has been masked except the edge which I have selected there. So I am going to control drag and release the mask there and then press Q to bring back my Z modeler tool. We got edge loop partial which is again I am going to select that loop and then maybe I can transpose it uh, like that. And uh, if I have selected the loop complete it selects everything where I can again transpose uh, the overall component there. I mean the edge loop component. Now to go back to my tool, press Q again and then select the uh, poly loop, which is going to select the ring of edges, like not the parallel line, but the I mean the line which I've selected. It's not selecting that contiguous line where it's going to select the ring of this loop here. Where again I can transpose them and then modify our model. So transpose is a very convenient way of deforming our shapes and then um, you know uh, selecting i mean uh, i mean applying transpose tool for selected components in zbrush is like masking a certain part and unmasking certain part and then transposing them that's how it works so in that case they gave transpose tool for our polygon actions so if you got any questions related to uh, transpose tool or any other tools which i have discussed you can ask me in the comment section and if you like the video hit the like button and subscribe my channel Thank you very much.